What's up guys, Kusi here and as you can see in the title of this video we're gonna talk about how to easily defeat a golem in the battle towers and to be able to get all the loot. And just to be clear, I always recommend to clear the whole battle tower before actually challenging the golem since that way it's gonna be easier to get all of the loot safely without the golem destroying it. There's also less chance of you uh, making a mistake and forgetting that a certain mob can spawn and may kill you or put you in a bad position. Because there's a lot of experience there, so I really think that it's worth it. But just for the sake of this video, since I know there's a lot of people that prefer to just go for the chest that is next to the golem, since that's where all uh, the better reward are. So in this video, I'm gonna first uh, go over a few ways of going to the top of the towers and all advantage and disadvantage each have without actually clearing the whole battle tower. After that, I'm gonna talk about uh, the little trick that I... F As you can see, uh, the first way to go all the way to the top is just by building some stairs. Uh, you know, really basic, any type of block do. I took dirt since it's easier to get. The advantage is that uh, you have a way to go down, so you don't need a bucket of water. The downside is the gen can attack you. If they do, there's also some chances of them eating the golem. If you do attack the golem, you're gonna activate and gonna strike back on the Zephyr, but since you're next to them, you're gonna get some damage or may even die like right there. The second way is, as you can see right there, is you just do, um, you just put a block on below you and you go all the way to the top. Uh, the advantage of that is that it's way easier and faster to do. Uh, the downside of it is that you need to plan a way to go down. You need a water bucket if you can put it fast enough when you're falling or you're gonna have to plan another way to escape from there safely. Also, a little fact that you may not know if you're trying to open a chest but it's locked, even if it's uh, the chest that is right below the golem, it will not trigger him, but if you do open it successfully, now it will trigger him. But the second that you actually go in the stairs without crouching, gonna activate the golem and will start attacking you. And this is the last method that I'm gonna show you in this video. I didn't include the one with the flying mount since it is now way harder to get one. But you know, it, it is like always, you just go all the way to the top and do the little trick I'm gonna show you. But right now, the last one is the one with the grappling hooks. I just put on the screen the receiver to build it. Now you just have to use it over and over again till you reach all the way to the top. When it's done, you don't have to worry about getting attacked. Since it won't be activated, there's only three ways that you can activate him. One is if you're not crouching in the stairs. Second, if you open the chest that is one level below. And the third one is if you step where there's the soul sand. It's been said that there's three different type of attack from the golem. The first one is he's gonna throw a fireball at you, just like this. You're gonna get some damage from the explosion and from the burn effect. The second attack is a melee one, as you can see, just gonna punch you, it's gonna do some physical damage and it will not cause any burn effect. The last attack is supposed to be a stomp, if you're hiding nearby, he will do it, but I wasn't able to see it in action yet. Now is the time for me to explain my little trick. I'm gonna show you first and after I'm gonna explain how to do it. As you can see, I use a regular bow, but it's special arrow, chorus arrow. It will force the enemy or the target that you actually hit with the arrow to teleport nearby. So it creates a little window of time that you can actually use to be able to loot the chest. The big downside of this method is that the enemy is teleports randomly. And there's no way to guarantee if it's gonna teleport all the way back to the first floor or to the floor below you, which is what happened in this case. It will just force you to jump down. It doesn't affect the strategy at all, it just is gonna take a little longer since you have to go all the way back on the top floor. But since there's no golem there, uh, you're gonna be able to take the loot quite easily. Now the only thing left is to get away safely with the loot. And so you can do it multiple ways. Like the water bucket, the rest are just gonna leave it up to you and to your preferences. And as you can see right now, it's a prime example why I recommend to loot the whole battle tower first. Since as you can see, there was some good loot down there. And of course, we wouldn't want to leave anything behind which is what will make us uh, go down there and th that is exactly what make it more dangerous. Also because it's mostly a uh, hit and run tactics, you want to get everything you can before you uh, actually do this since see, when you're doing this you, uh, you do not have the intention of coming back to this tower once again. As you can see on the screen right now I just put the receipt how to make the chorus arrow uh, which is gonna help you out. Last thing about how to make the arrow you need some chorus fruit uh, instead of going all the way to the end uh, you can just 
out some of uh, the little rats thing. I don't know how to pronounce them. These rats have 50% chance of dropping some chorus fruits. Since you don't need a lot of arrow to make that strategy, this is perfect. You can easily find them in dark cave or underground. Thanks for watching. You know the deal. If you like it, like, comment, subscribe. Join my Discord down below. You're gonna know when I go live streaming a couple of times per week. And also, if you have any questions, I'm going to be able to answer them faster and easier on Discord. And once again, thank you for watching the video. If you have any suggestion, you know how to reach me. Goodbye and see you next time.